Welcome everyone. This is the Drone DJ Special. Our man Kirk down at CES 2022. It's been the first two days of media access only. So Kirk, tell us how is CES? It's been uh, it's, it's so much fun. Hello time.、Uh, we got to go see Unveiled last night and with a select group of people、um, to view preview some items. And we just I li- just got back.、Uh, I had to run about a hundred hundred yards、uh, from the Sony press conference that took place、uh, just about an hour ago. I have to say, I really envy you because that in-person experience you can't replace that with any online or virtual experience. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah, it feels good to be back in person. Yeah, you know, even with you know everything going on right now, but like it, it feels good. Everyone's wearing masks. Everyone's vaccinated. So like it's it's great. Was there an after party last night? Yeah, there was a little bit of a unveiled. Of course, it's a, you know, a media event, you know, catered and all that stuff. So it's a lot of fun. There's another one tonight, another one tomorrow.、Uh, so that, I, I'm, it's late at night, a little bit late at night over on the East Coast, but、uh, it's just getting started here. Party time just getting started. What have you <laughs> seen so far? Um, I only really got to speak to one drone company directly.、Um, sadly, Skydio、um, pulled out uh, of the uh, of the conference this year.、Um, like I landed in Vegas and I got the email that they they pulled out,、uh, which which is like comedic timing at its best.、Um, but there was a company at、uh, at Unveiled last night called uh, uh, Vital. Not not、Vital. the not the technical term, but、uh, the company name Vital. It's very similar. It's a it's a hybrid,、um, you know, a vertical takeoff.、Uh, You know, model for agricultural、um, enterprise type service,、um, services. I did and, look the map. It the really interesting thing is the very light aircraft.、Uh, most of the weight、um, they stated comes from the camera system inside.、Uh, the the wings、um, and the body are made out of a、uh, composite, so you know, kind of like carbon fiber. Not not necessarily primary carbon fiber, but something like that.、Uh, so. It, it, it's mostly meant for for、um, enterprise. They're over here looking for a partner to bring this over、um, full scale、uh, full scale production、um, uh, rather than small scale. But、uh, it can fly very far. It's uh, very uh, you know kind of fly it and just kind of monitor it as it's doing its job. You know, surveying fields or、um, you know taking it, a look. It really at looks like Wincha to me. It's not <laughs> that different from Wincha, right? Yeah. So if you've seen the the Wincha,、uh, the hybrid, the, the vertical takeoff, and then converting to fixed wing, it, it really looks it looks a little ma- more edgy, right? Wincha is a little more streamlined, more aerodynamic in terms of the design. This one looks a little more edgy.、Uh, but I have to、yeah. say, I, I was surprised that.、Um, A、uh, enterprise drone company would go to CES because CES is more consumer. Yeah, I, they did mention. I was asking like、uh, most of the companies I talked to, I would always end the interview with, you know, especially if they're in enterprise,、um, you know,、uh, focus. Like, what are you looking at ten years from now? You know, five to ten years, you know, which is a crazy kind of question to ask because you know, ten years ago, like we were still just getting to know the iPhone, but.、Uh, It was、uh, they're they're looking possibly they want to get these as, you know of course they most companies want to see sell as many as possible and like consumer markets kind of how you do that、um, but they they're really looking you know really focused on just trying to get this to mass market first and then once after that they're like yeah we'll we'll see where this takes us and maybe we'll get us in the consumer product. Uh, I know before CES we suspect that Sony was going to have Air Peak there. I、yep. guess we we did find out. <laughs> It's there, yeah. It's it's here.、Um, I was、uh, I was running over quickly to get to the、uh, get to the.、Uh, I got some quick photos when I was running out. Sadly, the the press conference focused mostly on their、uh, movies, their games, movies, and then、uh, at the end their、uh, their EVs, which, which what they're building. That was kind of the、uh, the one last thing. If you're an Apple fan,、uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right at the end of the event, they brought out one of the one of their. Prototypes they announced, and then they announced the SUV prototype. So that was pretty cool to see. But off to the side of the stage、um, was the Sony Airpeak、uh, sitting on this little pedestal.、Uh, it got like five seconds of discussion during the press conference, but it has its own little area, and we actually got to see get to see all the products they have back on the wall,、uh, the cameras that they use, the propellers,、uh, the gimbal, and the battery are there. As well as, kind of a rundown of their their system of a chip components, of a chip. right? Yeah, not much learned、um, out of it all, but、uh, you know it's cool to see that it's here, it's real. Like you know, we're we're they're shipping it, they're they're using it, they're they're in the drone space now.、Um, so I, I'm looking for, I will be talking to them tomorrow, especially、uh, about the the Airpeak. Now that it's definitely on on, you know, it's、uh, being shown here. 
Yeah, definitely would be interested in finding out more. Um, I mean, personally, my specific question would be why Gramsci Gimbal? Why not their own or Free Fly or anybody else? That would be an interesting question. Um, also, let's go back to where was the flight controller? I'm trying to find the. There we go. So there's yeah. also the flight. Uh, looks like that's the. Yeah, that's the flight controller, and they actually listed all the detailed mm -hmm. components on the flight controller, which is interesting. Um, yeah. Doesn't say much about GPS or range, which you know a lot of times that's what people are looking for. So yeah, definitely would would be interesting to get some more information from Sony. Are they eventually developing their own gimbal, or are they only staying with uh, third party gimbals? Yeah, uh, and I'll be definitely be asking them all those questions tomorrow. So stay tuned, probably for an article on that uh, tomorrow. Yeah. And also for the lens too, uh, they're listing only the primes and the full sensor here. But I'm, sure, I'm sure this is a very much of a marketing ploy by them. Mm -hmm. They they stated um, you know dimensions and weight of it, and they did uh, when this was announced originally. They they announced all the um, cameras, and they would they would list off all their top of the line Sony cameras, right? And then they were only listing like really old Canon cameras, which was funny because like <laughs> I look like wait like there's like the A7 not and like, the, R, the R3 are, like are very similar cameras. They can both fit on this, but they're not advertising the brand new Canon cameras. Of course, that. they they so, want you to stay in the same ecosystem. But you I'm know sure, what? Like yeah. a, a lot of my pilots are saying that they they really look forward to the drone from Sony because they they most of them have Sony cameras, especially mm -hmm. the mirrorless cameras, and they want to use those cameras on the Sony drone so they all stay in the same ecosystem. Yeah, like it, Sony getting into the drone scene is is very common sense. Uh, I, I think it's a, um, it's kind of like also looking at drone DJ, not drone DJ, sorry, DJI. Um, you know, like they're in the drone business, but like, would a camera from them be too like absurd? Like, no, I think it would be relatively common sense. They already make well the because camera. because yeah. DJI both uh, Hasselblad. <laughs> yeah, like especially even that too. Like, yeah, like, I mean, like there's definitely like a standalone DJI like camera yeah. like definitely yeah they're all it. getting on each other's turf basically yeah yeah uh besides sony who else is there uh i'll tell us here i walked right past their booth on the sony it's right next to sony and they have all of their um the new nano and the light drones lined up they have the little cage for flight testing luckily I, my nerves have been um you know calm they have like caged in so there's no way for me to hurt people if i fly it so <laughs> that's always good so <laughs> how big was the cage uh, it was not that big. It was probably about the size of um, shipping container. Yeah, about the size of a shipping container. Like not as tall, but like it, it's yeah, it's a, about that. Like kind of like if you put one vertically up, like right. That's so like size so about ten by ten. Yeah, about like yeah, that's about what it would be. Um, so I'll be that's probably like one of my first stops tomorrow. Um, we'll be, we'll be seeing them and getting my hands on a, on their drones and flying them around, comparing especially the the nano to the mini. Um, that that's definitely like a big part. So, I'm looking forward to seeing those two because their their sub two fifty uh, makes a big difference in in Canada here, and uh, I yeah. believe actually in North America and UK, um, you don't need the license, you don't need to get the, either your FAA or the Canadian drone license. So definitely interested in seeing those. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to mention I have digital access to CES. Um, I spent a little time browsing through. Let me just share what the digital screen looks like. I spent a little bit of time just browsing through today, um, and I saw some of the, the topics I couldn't make to their sessions today, but I really want to go back and watch the recorded version. Uh, let's see, where is the John Deere? I'm trying yeah, to John go. Deere was around like, like 1 o'clock or something like today. Yeah, uh, um, 3 o'clock. There, there you go. Nothing runs like a deer autonomously, and I, I was super interested into John Deere's autonomous talk because um, John Deere was actually partnered a couple of years back with uh, a major uh, Silicon Valley drone company called Caspery, who was really into industrial solutions. Uh, and they were really trying to sell the full autonomous agriculture feature, right, with John mm -hmm. Deere, which essentially you have the drone fly out to scout your field and uh, come back with information on which section needs watering, which section needs fertilizer, which section needs to be uh, harvested, for example, and then those macking commands can go into a John Deere tractor and the tractor can go autonomous 
autonomously complete those actions. So that was、uh, the vision of their partnership. We haven't heard much since then. So I wonder what's the update from、uh, John Deere, especially on the autonomous agriculture. What have they come up with? Yeah, they're definitely one of the larger,、uh, largest providers of farm farm equipment, to, especially in the United States、uh, and across the world.、And、another company I saw they're doing something very similar to this is actually it's a company called N-、uh, Nio, I think is how you pronounce their name. And I I ran into them、um, at, at unveiled last night, and I'm just walking around, and of course there's always these, these different companies, you know, just demoing their stuff. Remember the, na- the name of them?、Um, N A I O Technologies.、Oh, yes, there we, there we go. go. Okay. Yes.、Um, so they have some pretty cool、uh, you know, farming equipment. Robotics. Okay. Yeah. So they have some really cool、um, farming equipment. It's、uh, completely autonomous.、Uh, you know,、uh, kind of harvesters and, and planters and weeders and all that stuff of grapes and vegetables and all that stuff.、Mm-hmm. They're just driving around the little like probably about the size of like、um, uh, you know like those like miniature cars that like, kids have. Like you know yeah,、about. just from their website. One sec, please. Yeah, share that's kind of like what they were driving around. I got to I got to drive around for a little bit.、Um, they're really cool.、Uh, pretty cool, like、uh, a company with some cool ideas.、Uh, oh, it's even got a name. It's called Ted. Yeah, that's that's one of the things they have. I,、yeah. I love when people name their robots. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of、uh, different ones.、Uh, that's I think that's the one they have like grapes.、Um, of course, they're a California, you know, like the. They're based out of California, and I think some places in Europe,、um, like there are two places that are based out of. So, grapes are pretty big over in California, especially you know Napa Valley with wine their business wine. for sure.、Yeah. Yeah. My house wine、uh, is a is a California Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> I, I wish I wish I, I'm not a I'm a whiskey person, not a wine person, but I I, I respect it. So,、uh, a whole bunch of different options, you know,、uh, pretty cool like kind of you know、uh, company to keep an eye on. Uh, and let me just see who else is on the digital. One thing I do like having the, you know, the digital, the virtual version is I know we missed、uh, some. I mean, obviously there are multiple sessions going on at the same time, and you can't go to all of them.、Um, yeah. Most of them are actually available as a recorded video on the stream version. So we're going to spend some time going through, you know, obviously the interested、uh, topics,、uh, and we'll have a CS recap next week once all the sessions are. Said and done, and obviously, Kirk, you're you're still there. You're going to find out more tomorrow.、Um, I believe the third and the fourth are media days, and then the fifth is the official day when everything begins.、Yep. Right. Everything opens up tomorrow morning for、uh, for the public to join. The full floor is open. We didn't really get access to the full floor,、um, so especially like because no one was set up either. So、uh, we're gonna definitely. I'm gonna be walking up and down. You know. Don't know when I would have time to do it all, but yeah, I also will be speaking with、um, uh, Altel's U.S. CEO on Thursday morning. So that that's their new, their new U.S. Who is their yeah, new U.S.、Uh, Maxwell、CEO? Lee?、Uh, Lee, yes, thank you, Maxwell Lee. Yep. So I will be speaking with him about the nano and the light drones. So. That's exciting. Well, thanks for joining us today. We will bring you more、uh, CES recap next week on everything we find out at this year's CES.